Hi guys, it's Ben here. Um, Liverpool 1, Everton 1. Um, my pre-match confidence comes back to bite me. But I didn't anticipate that, that team selection to start with. I mean, as soon as that team selection was announced, Oxlade Chamberlain in for Coutinho, Solanke in for Firmino, who did nothing. Um, no Chan, no Vinaldum. Uh, we had nothing. We, we, we were fortunate to score. As much as we were on top, we didn't really dominate in a, in a way that we threatened to score more than that one we did score through Salah. Um, honestly, oh, I'm furious, I'm furious. It was a dreadful team selection and the people that I was worried about didn't perform. Henderson didn't perform. Um, Solanke didn't perform. Danny Ings came on. Whoa. Where did that come from? Um, the penalty, obviously the big talking point, was it a penalty? I think it's soft, but you don't push a player over in the penalty area. <laughs> it's typical Dan Lover and it's typical Liverpool. Um, the reason I'm not too downbeat is because I know that with our best team, we are still probably the second or third best team in this league. Um, but the reason we didn't play Coutinho and Firmino is beyond me. Um, you know, it's a Merseyside derby. You don't you don't rest your best players for the for one of the biggest games of the season. We've rested Coutinho there. We've rested Firmino. They never got a chance to get going when they came on. Uh, I'm, I can't believe it. I can't believe we've dropped points against the fucking blue strike. They were crap. It's one of the worst ever performances I've seen. They were better last season at Anfield. They were fucking dreadful today. Um, it's really time to start questioning Jordan Henderson. I, I, I know it's something that's been going on on Twitter for a long time, but it's time to really start wondering if we're actually any good with him in the team because... We're considerably better with uh, Emre Chan in the side. We're considerably better with Jeannie Van Aldem in the side. Um, Milner was quite anonymous today. I just can't believe what's fucking happened. I can't believe we've dropped points. It's, it's a real home banker, home to Everton. We go one and up and we don't even pressurise their goal for, for, for a second at any point, really. Um, I'm, I'm really, really down about this. Um, the re as I say... With Coutinho and Firmino in the, in the, in the 11, we, we win the game. Solanke, I'm not sure what he's good at. I like him. I, I do like him. He's, but he's not quick. He's not particularly strong. He's not that good in the air. Um, we were very weak today. The, the, that 11 players on, those, on that pitch was five or six players short of our best 11. And uh, that's the reason we didn't win the game, because... Our squad isn't quite good enough. Our, our 11, our first 11, the, the 11 we saw against Spartak Moscow, is phenomenal and a, a, a team capable of doing anything. With Coutinho, Salah, Firmino and, uh, and Mane there and, and Van Adam and Chan. As soon as you replace that midfield too with Henderson and Milner who are so static, so robotic. Henderson's got no technique whatsoever. Like, I, I, I was impressed with him in pre-season. I thought he was back to his, his sort of 13, 14 best with his passing range and his and his his, his, uh, his stamina and his, his movement. But he was fucking dreadful. Like he's got no technique when you compare him to Ray Chan. Like it's it's chalk and cheese. Those two players, um, and that is a big reason why we didn't win the game. Um, I'm concerned about Henderson long term now. Uh, I've tried to fight it. I've tried to not be one of those guys that sort of slams him on Twitter every week. But uh, I'm becoming that guy, and the same with Dayan Lovren. Like again, I thought he was sort of past his uh, misdemeanors, but what a stupid foul that is! What a stupid foul! And we just we've just blown it. We've we've, we've blown going above Chelsea into third. We've blown putting a cushion between us and Arsenal, who dropped points today. We're still fourth. We've got a good run coming up. I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll win some games going forward, but. Jurgen, you can't be resting Coutinho and Firmino against Everton. I'm sorry, it's, it, it, it all comes down to Jurgen Klopp today. A, 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 a manager I, I, I love, um, a manager I think could lead us to Premier League titles and Champions League titles and all sorts of joy, but he got it wrong. He, you, can't, you can't drop Coutinho and Firmino in, in, in a game like this. If you want to do it against West Brom, so be it. I, I, I wouldn't even want to drop both of them. To drop one's enough, but to drop both is uh, is bold and, and it's not paid off. So um, look, I'm I, I'm frustrated, um, but look, Chelsea drop points, Arsenal drop points, um, United or City and drop points. It's one of those weeks. It's a frustrating one. This one, and then we got to sit, sort of take on the chin. 
we're in good form. We've won a lot of games recently. We, we were due a, a, a bad one, and uh, it's come in the form of Everton away with, with, with a Wayne Rooney uh, penalty, which was um, soft. <sighs> Guys, if you're if you're new, subscribe please, um, and follow my other socials. It's Ben Mike on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, and. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.